In this video, we shall show that how to display a matrix in C programming. So first of all, we have to write the header file of C programming that is hash include stdio.h that is standard input and output as header file. And after that, the integer main with the first bracket. And now we can start our program with the second bracket. And now we have to specify the integer that we would use in this program. And here we would use two for loop. So for this we need two variable integer that is i and j. So we specify this i and j as integer. And we also need a uh, integer that is a matrix which matrix we want to display there that is the matrix A and this is of the order as example 3 by 3 so we would use uh, array of 3 by 3 order so that's like that and after that we have to ask the user to enter the elements of the matrix serially so printf enter the elements of the matrix really means we have to enter the elements row wise that is you have to first enter the elements of the first row then second row and then third row okay and to make a line gap we have to give backslash n and to get this data enter this data we need the for loops and here we need two for loops because this is a two by two dimensional array so there we need two for loops first for loop with the variable i that is i equals to zero semicolon i less than three semicolon i plus plus And the next for loop is with the variable j. So that is for j equals to 0, j less than 3, j plus plus. Okay. And now we can scan the elements because we have entered the for loop so scan f modulus d comma the address of the modulus d that is the matrix a so that is the address of the scan f modulus d Now all the data is entered and we have to print the matrix. So printf the matrix is this is the first line of your output that is the matrix is and make a backslash in to make a line gap with semicolon okay now start with the for loop that is for this is the outer loop with the integer i so for i equals to 0 semicolon i less than 3 I plus plus this is the outer for loop and after that we use the inner for loop so for this we have to use another second bracket there 
and now you have to remember that you have you need some space between the rows of the matrix so to make this space between the rows we need this function that is printf and a backslash n sorry there backslash n in the inverted comma and the it will make a space between the rows okay and after that you can use the second for loop with the variable j and now you can use this like that and ultimately we have to print the matrix so print f first bracket inverted comma sorry modulus d there and the address of the modulus d is given by comma the matrix a i j and after that we have to give return zero thus our program is completed and now we can run this program and see what happen so compile this program and now if we run this program it will like it asking the user to enter the elements of the matrix serially so enter the nine elements of the matrix and you can see the matrix like this but there is a problem that you can see there there is no space between the elements of the row so to make space between the elements of the row we have to change the program so give just a backslash t near the part modulus d backslash t it will make some space between the elements of the row and if we again run the program it will be like you can see enter the elements so again we have to enter the elements and and you can see the matrix is like this this is an example of 3 by 3 matrix of order 3 by 3 and we can do it for any order matrix thus you can display any type of matrix in this process